if you have been following my videos on YouTube, um, I actually installed new strings. So now I noticed there's actually a bow on my guitar. So how do you actually see if you've got a bow on your guitar? So you actually squeeze here on the 14th fret. It doesn't really, it's not really like you have to squeeze on the 14th all the time, no. You can squeeze even further or whatever, but 14 is actually the best fret, I think. And then you squeeze the first one as well here. And then you notice on top here, if you squeeze your your uh, string here, and there's still a gap underneath these frets here and your string, it simply means you do have a bow. It's just slightly a bit like this. Because your neck is supposed to be as straight as possible. So what do you do when you actually have a bow like this? Um, so just to so explain, um, there are two bows. Some people actually have a bow where it actually goes beyond this side, where your strings are, these strings are actually touching where the neck is actually going this way instead of uh, this way, but it's supposed to be straight. So let's try by all means to try and make it as straight as we can. And just a caution, very minimal adjustments when doing this is actually very important because you might just damage your guitar. That is actually, very, if you can't do this, it's better you take it to a professional. So I got me, um, this is an Allen key. So most guitars have um, a, more like a nut down here. This is where you adjust. So the more you adjust this, the more it goes down or up. Some guitars I've noticed they actually have it up here on the neck where you actually have to unscrew and then you actually turn. So like I said, minimum adjustment. So let's try and do this. So I'm going to set this. And so in this case, if I take it this way, it will actually go down. If I take it this way, it comes up. So I'll just very small turn like that. Let me see. Let's check that. Okay, I still need to just move it just a little bit. Okay, so this is more like this is more like a thirty-five degree angle. Okay, somewhere there that I've actually done. So minimal adjustments. Let me just remove that. Let's see again. So I'm doing this while my strings are actually in tune. Okay, I still need to do that a little bit more. again squeeze here and here it's actually very close now I can still hear that I'll do it one more time and this will be the last adjustment okay let's see now and there though it's very neat so you need to be very precise so as you actually do this you notice your strings will actually also go a bit down so there was a slight noise that I actually had it's actually it's actually better now than the way it was so if you overdo this just a precaution might actually damage your guitar so don't overdo it if you can't do it better take it to a professional who knows how to do this 
otherwise this is how you actually fix your bow in case uh, you need any any advice or you have any question please drop them in the comment section below i'll respond immediately otherwise like subscribe and have fun